What's up guys and welcome back to another video. We have officially reached the last map of the map pool today. We will cover up Dust 2 on the T side. Everything you need to know. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, first off, let's start with the Xbox smokes, the instant Xbox smokes from the T spawn, which would be from these one, two, three, four spawns here. So for the very right spawn, you would normally obviously not align yourself. You would just spawn right here. And you would look for this blob on the wall, which is right this one. It's a very light blob, but just a bit different color than the other wall. And I'll draw an outline so you know about what I mean. This is about the area there. And it doesn't have to be too pixel perfect. Just go in the middle of it and then jump for a smoke. Smoke goes nicely over the building and bounces off the wall here, lands perfectly on top of the Xbox, so that's one way to instant spawn smoke the Xbox there, so you can go for some short rushes and some easy early map control. The next one we would have would be the second to right spawn, so this spawn right here, as I said, obviously you won't be aligning yourself here, you would just be spawning there, and then you look for this dark dot on the wall, very easy to find, just jump through smoke, easy as that, smoke goes over the building, bounces off the wall, does the classic bounce there, bounces back on top of Xbox, and gives you an easy instant smoke there to get some mid control, get into short, and take a bit of way of more vision from the enemies. Okay, next up we have the third instant smoke, which would be from the third spawn. And as I said, you won't be aligning yourself up. You would just be spawning right here where I am now. Nothing too pixel perfect anyway. And then you see these two little things on the wall up here. Just go into the middle of that, follow it up to the rail or to this, this, this roof thing. Just like there where my crosshair is right now at the tippy top of this little brick wall there. And then just jump through the smoke. Easy as that. Jump through the smoke, lands perfectly on top of Xbox. As you can see, bounces off the wall and blooms totally that's such a default way to smoke off xbox get a bit of mid control get a bit of extra space there take some vision away from the enemies easy as that okay and last but not least for the spawn smokes we have the fourth and final spawn which would be right this one up here normally you wouldn't align yourself you would just spawn here next up look up to this wall here see those wires coming down just align yourself here or your crosshair with the top of this roof and where the wires meet just say like that jump through the smoke and it will land perfectly on top of the xbox bounce off the wall behind and perfectly and fully bloom the entire area so you can cross out here anyway just a default way of smoking but as an instant spawn smoke easy to remember easy to do get a bit of map control take some vision away from your enemies early round okay just for safety measures there just in case your teammates cannot throw the instant smokes or don't have a Xbox smoke prepared. I don't know, maybe a solo queue or something. Get into this corner here. You can still throw it the old classic way. Look for this line on the wall there. Just follow it up all the way to the top. And then simply jump through your smoke. Smoke does the same thing. Bounces off the floor there and lands perfectly on top of the Xbox. And makes you the same effect as before. You can cross without anybody spotting you. Obviously, you can have a bit of focus towards short. Easy map control there. Early round takes some vision away very early. Okay, next up, we will cover up the B spawn. The fast smoke for the doors would be from here. Just get trapped into the barrels. Look for this area of the roof. Follow it all the way up here. And uh, it doesn't have to be too pixel perfect, but as you can see, it's somewhere between there and this. Use a new CS2 crosshair there to align that perfectly. Follow it up to the roof or to the wire up there and then jump through your smoke. The smoke will land perfectly on top or over the double doors, which would make it, obviously, as you can guess, bloom all the way down. As you can see here, perfectly bloomed down. Makes a nice, yeah, a nice bloom there. So that would cover off the entire doors to make your rushes towards B a bit more easier and efficient. The second way to smoke off the doors on B would be from this position here. You can smoke off the window and the doors from the same position if you get a teammate to drop your smoke. So first off, get into the corner here. For the door smoke, you go all the way up to this hole on the wall right there. Follow it all the way up to the tippy top. There's a little bit hanging out there and then the strength for your smoke. Smoke will go on this ramp here and bounce backwards in front of the doors. It's not the most elegant way. The other one looks way better, but it does its job anyway. It doesn't bloom too deep, so nobody can creep through the smoke there. So it's behind the doors, leaving you with enough room and enough space to work on your way to be. 
Now, as I said, you can also do the B window smoke from the same position. You do this, turn the door smoke, and then follow down to the second one of these dots, or the top one of these dots, should I say, and then jump throw your smoke there. The same thing happens, goes on top of this edge, lands right on the edge there, and the blooms downwards, leaving you with no gaps here for the enemies to do anything. You can go for a deep molly behind, because if you molly this area up, it would not extinguish this and just give you a bit of more space do both smokes and easy control easy execute towards b okay next up i will show you two smokes to do the cross smokes on b so you've got like a little path you can create walking outside on b first off how i do it just as a reference align with this pillar here just walk against the wall straight there nothing special look for this area up there imagine these are like three sections so go to the top section top third where my crosshair is now and then just left click the smoke smoke goes nice high fly and lands like this area in front of the big box giving you a bit of space creating high half of the wall we would need to get towards on B. The second one will be the one for the close box, which is pretty simple as well. Just get yourself stuck between this box and this pillar here. Just go right to the middle of that there, right there, and then just left click your smoke. Smoke will land right there. Combine it with the other smoke. Do both of them at the same time, and you would have an easy wall of smokes. Giving this and the second one there. Be aware they can stand on top of this box here, but if you do both of them, you can like move out here, fight towards plateau, just go a bit of more space. No vision for the op to see you moving out of time tunnels there so that will make your attempt a bit more easier okay next up we will go for the classic mid to b smoke so you've got like i don't know want to do a b split or something like that then you can do the smoke first off get into this corner here look for this darker area on this plank right in front of you and then stand up throw your smoke, and as you can see the smoke lands perfectly on top of those boxes which blooms completely so you can't look over the smoke you can look this gap but that doesn't bring anything to you and you can maybe boost on top of here but you're going to need two city players to do that one which is not very likely to happen but that gives you a bit of extra more cover so you can actually execute your mid to b play okay next up we have a, another smoke for the B side, which is thrown from the middle. You can smoke off the doors from the middle. I'll show you how it's done from here. Get in front of this shadow just in the middle there. Be aware they can peek you from here, from here, from here. So you're a bit open there. So, But if you've got an Xbox smoke out, doesn't matter. You will be covered fully. Look for this top three, uh, triangle thing on the roof there. And then run until you end right on this thatch roof there. So it would be look something like this. Jump throw and the smoke goes perfectly in front of the doors so if you want to do a mid to b maybe you got another smoke executing there just so they don't pick you from there concentrate on the window or for your b players as a supportive smoke or you could even fake it so you get in here smoke that off and fake you on a b but you actually go into a that would be an idea just another use case scenario for that smoke Okay, next up, we will cover some utility for the A site. First off, from the T-spawn to smoke off the long corner, but in a different fashion would be from here, right in front of this gap there. It doesn't have to be too pixel perfect here on the wall. Look for this little dent at the top there where this area is together. Aim with your crosshair as shown and then jump for the smoke. The thing is, the smoke will land on top of the roof there creating its way downwards and the good thing about it is you could actually if you get long control you can actually boost on top of this so there's a little hole there a little gap where you can see if there are enemies standing behind the smoke just holding the smoke there if you're a bit silent go a bit slow they have to be on long control it would be easy for you to just move out here and get an easy frag towards long Okay, next up, if you go long a bit later than planned because the enemies have long control or you want to regress towards long, this flash would be for you. First off, look for this white brick if you look around here. This is like the only one that sticks out. You've got some here as well, but that one is actually very easy to remember. I think it is because it's got this certain shape. So get yourself aligned in the middle of that brick or the little stone in the floor. Be aware they can push up top mid there. So have somebody to hold that at least. You've got to send one or two uh, towards long and to flash out the angles perfectly. Just aim at the top of the beam right in the middle, just underneath that dot, just with the left click flash there. And you will see the flash just pops exactly outside the door. So here, players standing behind the door, no chance to react whatsoever. Same always obviously applies to this corner right here. No chance there to dodge that. Go towards pit. I mean, you're going to have the pit player being flashed right here, as you can see. But as soon as they stand a bit deeper, the flash 
like the head of its position. Flatch doesn't have much impact there, but it does take out all the common angles holding the long doors if they have long control. Okay, next up, I'll show you some ways to smoke off the deep city area. First one will be directly from long doors, which would be here in front of this box in front of that dot. Then you look up for this beam at the top and follow it all the way to the top of that uh, horizontal beam. And then you jump for the smoke. Smoke lines nicely and will perfectly smoke off exactly the middle of the cross towards CT. So don't throw your smokes here off the wall and then you leave a gap left or right. But this one is a perfect smoke with one smoke, no need for two smokes. It does extend a bit out further, but that doesn't really matter. They can still be somewhere here behind the smoke, so be aware of that. They will push and can push out of the smoke, so be aware of that as well. But that's just the easiest and fastest way to smoke off the cross from long doors. Okay, next up, as an alternative for the smoke here, we just done that smoke up there to smoke off the cross on long or the cross for CT. Just a quick way to do it from here. Have a little fight, check out, want to go in, and then just stand in front of the container. It doesn't have to be too pixel perfect. Could be here, could be there, just around this area, not too pixel perfect at least. And then look for this cable up the top and follow it up to the roof. So as my cross is showing now, and then just left click the smoke. Smoke will land perfectly on CT as well. It will boom out a bit further, but it's perfectly centered, so it leaves no gaps whatsoever. Same as before, you can still stand behind here as the enemy, but that should grant you at least with only one frag. So if you've got two people there, go for the trade, and then it's easy round for you. Get your sight onto A. Okay, next up, if you have some long control, you've worked your way out here and got some control there, want to commit towards A, do this deep CT smoke. First off, get in front of this area of the wall here right in the middle go for the crouch look for the top wooden area of this i don't know the little roof there and just go a bit deeper align yourself though with this line here so just use a crosshair as shown stand up and then just left click the smoke smoke will be perfectly bounce off the area there and land perfectly into the middle of ct spawn giving you a nice deep smoke because a nice new cs2 smokes it does boom higher so the cross spotting is a bit more difficult it does leave a little gap there so if they're behind there they cannot see as much they have to go further back but still have hard time just getting a frag off your cross it will still be difficult to do that because they've got like a little pixel they can see through that's it so it makes your way a lot easier to get yourself towards it Okay, next up, I'll show you the safest model you can throw for the car position. I mean, I normally just go for a jiggle, see there's no one there holding me, and I'll just throw my molly like this into the corner here. But if you know there's an orb or something towards car, you can just do a safe molly from up top of this barrel. First off, get trapped in this corner here. Look for the door handle right there, and then W tap, jump throw. Molly goes perfectly behind the car, burns out the entire corner here and there, so no chance for the orb or for any enemy to actually stay in the position. So you have one holding here, throw your molly, and you can catch him by surprise if they have to escape the molly. Okay, next up. Just in case you're trapped in pit or something like that, I mean you made your way down pit, got some control here on long, and you want to commit to A, you've got some control there, go for this smoke, you can just go all the way down into pit, and you see these lines there, there's a little gap between those lines right there, and then just jump for the smoke from that area, smoke goes perfectly centered in front of this long area, it will bloom out here, so can't see anybody here after the smoke has evolved you can just run through there it does bloom out like the other ones do so you can stand behind the smoke here or here but as i said if it gets one frag you at least go for a trade get the trade there or something like that they will push out they can need the smoke open anyway but just so you know be a bit aware there that's just the easiest and fastest way from pit to smoke off the cross Okay, last but not least, as a little bonus smoke, I like to use this if we try to go B or go a bit pressure towards short. It smokes off the car position without going outside long, and it's still the CT cross smoke. First off, get in front of this wall exactly at the middle, then look for this window there, and there's a little crack or a little brick, dot, break, break, broken something there in the wall, and then just W tap, jump, throw. Smoke goes nicely over the buildings, bounces off the wall there and lands almost perfectly centered and leaves no gaps whatsoever anyway because of the new Bloom and CS2. But you can like go over here, car player can't spot you there, so you're not throwing it from long, you're actually throwing it from the middle there. So you smoke off this, get your Xbox smoke, run out here, you can have your load smoke there, get a bit short control and then you can go out without anybody spotting you, just focusing on the close areas just around here. 
Okay, guys, that was it for the video. I hope you liked. I hope you learned something. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.